Hi. Okay, the other question that I received today was somebody was reading The Final Swipe, my, my book, and they were asking if intention is the same thing as setting a goal. And a lot of people definitely use the word intention to talk about goals, so it has become synonymous with goals, but in the book that's not what I'm trying to use it as, and in my practice I don't use the intention to be synonymous with goal. So um, intention is more feminine and goal is definitely more masculine, more linear. And for, for me, intention is about, you know, setting inside of yourself what your vision is for whatever it is that you're doing. And it could be as simple as like, okay, I'm getting home from work, I'm going to walk into my house, and my intention is that the environment is calm, that I feel calm, um, that I'm showing up this way. So it's about being present and intentional and not just going through life, letting life bring you whatever it wants to bring you, but instead lightly directing it. Now, an intention is, is more feminine in the sense that you leave it and you you know, you, you step away from it. Uh, you're not attached to it, right? So you're, you're saying like, I'm going to do the best I can to set this intention, this energy, this idea, this vision. But I'm also like, if I'm not going to be obsessed with it, because the point is I have to set the intention and then be present in the situation. If I'm not present in the situation, then the intention doesn't work. Where a goal is more like, um, you know, I have this idea in my head. It's uh, goals to me seem much uh, bigger too. Where intentions are for the small things in in many ways, and the goal is like you know, little by little, I'm chipping at it, I'm making it happen. Rather, where like an intention is, I'm working with the the energy. I'm working with the universe to create this as a co-creation. Where a goal feels like I myself have to go after this, and I myself will make like have to make this happen. So. Intentions are really helpful for, um, you know, when you're trying to manifest something large and you're overwhelmed by that large manifestation, the little, so if, if, you know, you're at A and the manifestation is at Z, so I want this thing, a relationship, I want money, I want this career, whatever, then there's steps from A to Z. And with every step, you want to set an intention. You're like, okay, like the current step is I need to find work that I love. So I want to set the intention that I'm calm about it, that I receive it, that I'm open to it. And that is like my prayer, my intention for this first step. So um, super helpful uh, works. You know, that's what makes manifestation work. You just have to make sure that you're dropping the intention and you're leaving it. You're dropping it and you're leaving it. You drop it, you trust, and you, and you release. And then whatever it is that you're setting the intention for, that you're fully present uh, there for that moment. Okay. Hope that helps.